Hello, all you coin aficionados out there, and welcome again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have a bunch of one franc coins for you. We have some from the 40s, 1950s, and 1960s, and 1970s, 1980s, and the 1990s. Uh, we just have a bunch of one franc coins from all of the eras. So let's take a look through these and see if we can kind of figure out what's going on with them. One of the things that we uh, need to go over a little bit is the fact that during uh, World War II, the Nazis and Germans took over France and installed a kind of puppet or German-backed government called the Vichy government, V-I-C-H-Y. And if we look at this coin, we can see that it is a Vichy government coin. Instead of saying liberty, egality, fraternity, like the French coins did, it says travail, famille, patri, essentially work, family, and patriotism. Um, there is a one in the center. It says franc on the bottom, one franc. We have oak leaves on either side of the one. And where it says um, the engraver's mark is on these, on, on these sides. So we can blow it up just a little bit and see it. And so normally what we would have is something like a little bit of a dolphin there. And uh, you can still see that from the old French coins. And uh, if we tip it up on its edge, we see that it is smooth. We flip it over and we see the symbol that indicates to us that this is a Vichy government coin. And that is a double bit axe. So this is a chopping axe with um, essentially blades on both sides. Um, there is a mint mark here and it's very hard to make out. I believe it's a B, but feel free to correct me if somebody uh, has a better idea what this is. And these are grain stalks coming out. And at the bottom it says State of France. Notice it doesn't say Republic of France because the Germans had taken it over as a part of their country and made it a essentially a German controlled state and so they changed the name of it to the state of France or Etat Francais. If I bring in the other coin you'll be able to see very quickly. So here's what happened in 1944. In this coin on the right the French started minting this in 1941. The Vichy coin was minted from 1942 to 1944. This coin here, the one franc French coin, was minted from 1941 to 1959. Of course, they weren't minting them after the Germans came in. So after 1941, this coin wasn't minted again until 1944. But therein lies the interesting story. When the Allies came in, uh, in the in with the help of obviously de Gaulle and the French and the British and all of our um, allies when we all came in and recaptured France they immediately put out a one franc coin of the old style so in 1944 we have the Vichy or German government one franc and the regular one franc um, that had first been printed in 19, uh, minted in 1941, came out again with its liberty, egality, fraternity on it. And you can see uh, this was the standard, the cornucopia on each side. Um, if anybody knows German coins, they probably are very familiar with the oak leaves, which um, essentially lasted to this day on German coins or even on the German euro. So if we turn the 19, oh, there we go. There she is. So now we know we're talking a French coin because when we see this symbol, we know we're talking France. And this is 
uh, the Republique Francaise, the wreathed female head facing left, and see uh, how the uh, wreath goes up across, and Republique Francaise. And then we have the signature here, right here, Molon, who was the engraver. And if we tip it up, we see that it is again a smooth edge. So this is a 1944, and this is a 1944 from very different points of view. And of course, by the time this one came out, uh, France was almost fully destroyed um, uh, by the fighting. Um, and so in 19, this is the 1940s version. In 1947, there was another coin that I just wanted to show you. And, and the reason I want to show you the 1947 is on these, um, the Liberty, Egality, Fraternity, one francs, um, there was there were mint marks on some of them, and it was it would be right down here and below there. And so this 1947 um, has a mint mark, and it's the B mint mark. Again, a smooth surfaced coins. Next coin we have is a 1957. And again, you can see this one does not have a mint mark. It's a 1957, so this is our French coin, one franc from the 50s. Again, we see the Morlon, and we see the Republic Francais, and just that beautiful kind of detailed image going through there. So that's our 1950s. 1960, they came out with a new version. So let's bring these back and I'll show you these again. So these particular coins went from 1941 until 1949, uh, 1959. And that is the Liberty, Egality, Fraternity, one francs. And then the Vichy coin went from 1942 to 1944. And then in 1960, a new one franc coin came out. And that is this one franc coin. And again, we see the Liberty, Egality, Fraternity. We see the one franc. And in this case, the one franc has an olive branch in the center. Just a, a be another beautiful symbol. You can actually see the olives on the tree here. This particular coin was minted from 1959 until 2001 and was replaced by the euro. The 1959 version, however, was a, a mint only version. In other words, I think there were only 4,000 of them made. And if you can find a 1959 of this, uh, it's worth quite a bit of money. The 1960 was the first year they really put out a lot and they did put out a lot. 406 million of these were put out and minted. So the 1960s here, and you'll see that we have a slight change. We have a reeded edge, and on the back, or the, on the other side, this is actually the front, we see the familiar French symbol of the sower. And it says Republic Francais, and then down here below, we see that it says C. Roti. That's the signature of the designer. And this particular uh, uh, design is of a lady and what she has is a bag of seeds and she is throwing them as she goes through the fields kind of the old style farming where you would walk through the fields throw seeds either in a row or around the field and that would be how you planted uh, uh, your seeds initially of course you'd cover them over and water them so she is carrying a bag of seeds she's throwing them as she goes and wearing a uh, uh, a dress and the hair is flowing back. Very, very familiar French coin image. 1970 version, pretty much the same thing. Uh, so we see it. Again, we have the reeded edge. And again, we have the sewer on the front. And again, we have the uh, roti signature on the bottom. This 1970 coin, there were 42.5 million of the 1970 made. Now, I was looking for the 1980 coins, and I could not find a one franc in our collection for the 
from 1980s. And I'm not sure why. They didn't make a lot of them, but still we should have been able to find some. So between, uh, in the 1980s, uh, they did not produce uh, one franc coins many of the years. Um, and uh, the total that they made in the 1980s, according to Numista, is possibly somewhere under 8 million for the whole decade. Many of these were only in sets. The big year you'll probably find is 1985, and we just I just couldn't put my hands on one uh, for this video. So here's what I did. I took the half franc and the two franc, and we'll split them in half. And uh, these are going to be in other videos of ours, but this is the 19... 83 one half franc you see it has a reeded edge again it has this sewer on the front again it has the d roti signature and this is a 1982 franc liberty egality fraternity two francs over the leaves and again it has the sewer but it has this dodecagonal inner lying and finally we have the one franc from the 1990s and again, it's the Liberty Egality Fraternity, 1992. Uh, we see that it has the reeded edge, and it has the sewer on the front. And this particular coin, the D. Rody. Oh, this one, you can really see her bare feet as she's walking through the fields. So this uh, particular coin in 1992, there were 30 million of these made. And in a little bit better shape than this, this is worth a um, dollar to two dollars. For some reason, it's a very collectible coin. Um, and even in this shape, it's probably worth a dollar plus, um, maybe two dollars plus shipping. Okay, thanks again for watching the DC Coin Roll International Coin Channel. Uh, and feel free to leave any comments in our comment section. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel if you're interested in international coins.